Hi, I'm Alan, and this is gonna change your life. A minor and a D major. Start off by holding the chord that you're more familiar with. Let's just pretend it's the A minor. Take your middle finger, imagine that your middle finger is moving like a ghost right through your hand and going right down to there. So that's the first step. And then take that note and then go back and forth. Start it nice and slow. Get the movement down. Now let's do the same thing with the ring finger. Okay, so we're looking at this ring finger and you want your ring finger right here. You want to pretend that it's moving like a ghost right to its position down here. Just take that one and put it there. And I'll go back to where it was. And take a look, see? That's only one string and one fret. All right, so next, you're going to take the first two. So we have our middle and our ring finger, and we're gonna move both of them now. So we know that the middle finger goes right there. So get used to that again, and the ring finger does that. So can we do both together? Imagine it first, and then slow motion them perfectly together. At the same time, you want them to land it together, and then back together. Land them at the same time. And then speed it up. All right, so now let's take the index finger right there to there, there to there. So just like before, you want to imagine it first. And then isolate it and get used to that motion. Right, now go to the middle finger again and the index and see if you can do them slow motion together. You don't want to do this. You don't want to land one and then the other. That means you're sucking. You want to be able to do them just like a machine, just like a little dance together. So now the ring finger and the index. Where's the ring finger go? Where's the index go? Like that. So do those slow, just for a moment. And then the final step. A minor, D major. Take it slow motion, again, like this. Do the three things we just worked on. Slow motion. And then a couple times through it, you'll be an expert best way possible to master a chord change physically on the guitar. You just programmed your brain the right way, the proper way. If you flood your brain with tons of info at the same time and just hope that it works, it's, that's not effective practicing. That's what people show you online uh, in these shitty YouTube videos. <laughs> However, I'm definitely an expert with this stuff. So hopefully you understand that now and you could trust my information and have fun with me learning guitar. Thanks for watching the video. It's really helpful if you guys subscribe, hit the buttons to let people know that you like this, share it with people, share it on Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, follow if you're on my TikTok. All right, we're gonna keep up the good stuff. I am tired. I've been making lots, <laughs> making lots of videos. Um, plus I teach guitar throughout the day and I'm recording an album. Remember, it doesn't cost you anything to be nice. So please support my channel and I'll see you again soon.